Uh, hey, let's talk about the Dolphins and the Bills game last night. Sunday night football. Uh, you know what? Jaguars. Come on, Jags. If the Jags would have just won, that game would have been amplified even more. Would have been awesome. But the fact that the two seed was on the line, that was fun drama for Sunday night football. Right. Josh Allen tried to make it not fun at all, and Tua obliged too. And they were like, no, you take this game. No, you take this game. I've never seen someone actively try to lose a game more than Josh Allen in the red zone. He had three red zone turnovers, right? Mm-hmm. Three, two intercept. Well, I guess not three red zone no, t- turnovers, two, two interceptions, two interceptions in the end zone and the fumble. Yeah. But the one interception, I think he threw from like the 40. Well, that was And by the way, that, that one, I give him total pass on if it's fourth down, they fourth down and two, kind of a pun. they were going for it. They actually got better field position out of it because right. they were going to give the ball. They got like 15 yards out of the deal. Cause it was from the 40 yard line. They ended up or 20 yards out of it. Cause they ended up getting the ball at the 20 yard line. So uh, that one arm pun it, but there was also, I mean, there were so many plays in that game where you're just like the first interception was hilarious because Eli Apple picks that ball off and Eli Apple, even when he does something good for his team, he hurts his team. When he returned that out and they're at the two yard line, such an idiot. He was like, just stay down. You're not going to re- you're not going to get up off the, off the mat and go 107 yards for a touchdown. You're not Eli. Antonio Cromartie. That's not what's <laughs> happening here. Like, that one. Oh, that it, it drives me crazy. But that's also why he plays corner because to play corner, you have to have an irrational sense of self-confidence because you are constantly going to get burned and you are constantly going to look like a fool, be a goldfish, but to be good at that position, you have to just, I'm, I'm going to get it next time. And so when you get that interception, you, I, I'm going to score a touchdown. I'm going to have to the other play that was mind boggling and will forever have the two, a meme of it. With what, 20 seconds left? Miami's just like, we're going to give a first down to Buffalo so they can run a play from the 10 yard line when they were at the 20. What was Vic Fangio thinking? I don't know. Did he forget that you could go out of bounds and the clock would stop? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He rushed three and set everyone at the goal line. I don't know. And Buffalo still didn't come away with points. At the end of the half, you're saying? Yes. Yeah. I, I uh, look, there was a lot of confusing plays in that game. Well, in, in for that game to be decided by a punt return, 95 yards for a touchdown. Awesome. Poetic with the way the game played out where you have two really good quarterbacks and great quarterbacks. And this is the thing is like, everybody's like, all right, if Josh Allen can just pull the reins back far enough to where he doesn't screw it up. Like that's how dangerous Buffalo is. But then Buffalo gets bit by the injury bug again, mm. where you, you lose Rasul Douglas, right. you lose another linebacker. Like uh, these injuries in that game could have a massive impact on how the playoffs work themselves out. Now, Buffalo, I do believe that they will get past Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh has their flaws, man. They are, they're still a broken team offensively, Yep. but defensively they could get them fits. That could be well, a, a very good game. Might not have TJ Watt. And if you do get TJ Watt, well, it's going to be a good TJ Watt. And TJ Watt goes down, and, and they're saying that's just a sprain. PCL was that MCL, right? MCL grade two sprain. Okay, so I, I doubt you, we see TJ Watt. But if you do see TJ Watt, it'll be a limited TJ Watt's advantage. Buffalo, Buffalo. And j- here's my thing: is that r- run the ball. Like, this is what I've been talking about with Kansas City, too, is that Kansas City in kind of finding their secret sauce of what's going to make their offense click come playoff time. And you you saw keep Pacheco healthy. But when Pacheco's healthy come playoff time, run the stinking football Mm -hmm. and they should run the damn ball down Miami's throat if they can. But that was like head scratching to me yesterday uh, with the Bills is not even giving James Cook carries, right? Like I mean, he's a good back. He can run with power. He can run with speed. He can't catch a ball in the end zone, but and there there is the this point? element of like, all right, and when he did get his touches, he wasn't doing much with it, right? But you know this as an offensive lineman, you have to run the football to kind of grease the skids, right? Yeah, it, it just takes one, right? And, and the other thing, the guys that were making plays on him were safeties. They were, like, for as bad as Miami played offensively, 
their safeties in run support were fantastic in this game because as soon as they read run, they reacted downhill and they came through untouched, Yeah, which is what's going to happen because as an offensive lineman, I'm supposed to get the running back to the safety because most safeties are going to sit back because they don't want to get burned. They don't want to have the running back get away from them. So that's fine. I'm going to let that safety come free. Miami safety, they were doing a great job of playing downhill, tracking his inside hip and making the tackle. But if those safeties miss on any of those plays, I'm not saying it could be six, but we're talking 15 to 20. And it just takes one. Yep. So why go away from it when it's been working? Although I guess you use Josh Allen in the plus one run game and that's where they were making their hay. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited for both their matchups. Pittsburgh heads to Buffalo on super Wild Card weekend. Now Miami, because of that loss, they've got to go to Kansas city. And everybody was like, what's wrong with Tua? what's wrong with their offense. I have a, a feeling it didn't seem like, Mike McDaniel was unloading the 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 full playbook last week, uh, and I, I don't know why. Or last night, I don't know why you wouldn't, because home field is going to mean everything, and especially in a game where it's supposed to be like 15 degrees in Kansas City this it's weekend. Supposed to be better in Buffalo. Going on the road is. Oh my God. And you want to talk about where everybody's going to get back on the hype train with the Kansas City Chiefs if they knock off Miami. In the wild card round, all of a sudden, here we go. They the right. the hype machine is is going to be going out of control. That's going to be a hell of a football game, though. Miami KC in the wild card round. I I also feel like, to a degree, you see the difference between Tua when Miami's fully healthy, and Tua when they're not fully healthy. Yeah, because when you don't have Jalen Waddle, well, now you can bracket coverage Tyree Kill, and so that changes. How Tua throws. Tua is great. Short throws, medium throws. The minute he has to throw long, that's where you see him have his issues. That's why he threw those two interceptions. But they're both trying to force the ball to Tyree Kill. Yep. I also think that the loss of Mostert has been huge. As good as A-Chain is, he it's clear he'll have a big run when he gets to the edges. But if he doesn't get to the edges, he can't run in between the tackles. And that's where Mozart had killed a lot. Got to be huge. It's so gotta be huge. if they're able to get both of those guys back and they're able to play at a hundred percent, and Jalen Waddle, Waddle and Mozart. Yep. If they're able to get both those guys back, that's where I think Miami can become dangerous again. Good to see River Craycraft get a catch, though. Washington State. Yeah, I did not know that he was still in the NFL. <laughs> right? Got a nice little slant backed River up against Craycraft. Sneaky old. <laughs> 